Bring you some breaking news just coming into us from the Metropolitan Police who have confirmed in the past few minutes that they have arrested a terror suspect who escaped from Wandsworth Prison on Wednesday. All the details we have from the Metropolitan Police are that he has been arrested just after 11 o'clock this morning. They did release a statement earlier on this morning saying that they believed he was in the West London Chiswick area. They have now said on their website they apprehended him just after 11 o'clock today, Saturday morning, in the Chiswick area, and that Daniel Khalif is currently in police custody. They are thanking the public and the media for their support throughout their investigation to locate him, and they say they will provide a further update on his arrest. Well, just to remind you, Daniel Khalif escaped from Wandsworth Prison, prison in South London on Wednesday by clinging on to the underside of a delivery vehicle. And initially, police said they had no idea where he was and that they thought he may possibly have left the country. Um, but they did continue focusing their efforts on searching the West and South London areas. And then earlier on today, the Met Police confirmed that they were focusing their efforts in and around the Chiswick area. This was after intelligence-led activity and some confirmed sightings in that area overnight, including, they said, calls from members of the public. They said that police were continuing to comb that area today, carrying out intensive search activity. They said that as far as what he looked like, what he was wearing, they believed that he was wearing a black baseball cap, a black T-shirt, a dark coloured bottoms and also carrying a small bag or case. They urged the public to continue to look out for him and to contact 999 if they saw him. But they said, please do not approach him, even though we don't believe he is a threat to the wider public. And now in the past few moments, the Metropolitan Police have confirmed they have arrested this man, 21-year-old Daniel Khalif, the ex-soldier who escaped from Wandsworth Prison on Wednesday. Uh, he escaped clinging to the underside of a truck. He was working in the kitchen at the time and this was a food delivery vehicle lots of questions being asked about how he managed to escape uh, you know a prison where he should have of course been secure and many many measures in place to make sure that prisoners can't escape uh, so various investigations underway into what went wrong there but the police the authorities will no doubt be extremely relieved that daniel khalif a 21 year old former uh, army soldier who was in prison on charges of trying to spy for an enemy state understood to be Iran. He was due for trial in November. He escaped, so they will no doubt be relieved that he has now uh, been apprehended and is back in police custody. Well, they also released footage yesterday of Mr Khalif uh, being transported in that vehicle and then coming out of that vehicle, the underside of that vehicle, not too far away when the truck stopped near the uh, south entrance to Wandsworth Roundabout. Uh, and a member of the public reported seeing Mr Khalif crawling out from underneath that vehicle. So that was a major lead for the police. And over the past few days, they have been co combing various parts of South and um, West London. Let's talk to Dominic Cassiani now, our Home Affairs correspondent who's following all the developments for us. Hi, Dominic. And this confirmation, no doubt a huge relief to the authorities in the past few minutes that Daniel Khalif has now been arrested. Hi, Dominic. Can you hear me? Daniel, can you hear me? I mean, sorry, Dominic, can you hear me? I think we're having problems with the line there. But uh, just to reiterate, Daniel Khalifa, 21-year-old ex-soldier who was in prison, in Wandsworth Prison, on remand due to stand trial in November, accused of trying to spy for an enemy state, obtaining information likely to be useful to a person committing or preparing an act of terrorism and plotting a fake bomb hoax. He escaped Wandsworth Prison on Wednesday, he was working in the kitchen at the prison and he managed to cling on to the underside of a delivery vehicle um, as it left the prison. We have now established uh, communications with Dominic, who can bring us up to date. Hi, Dominic, our Home Affairs correspondent, Dominic Cassiani. Uh, just confirmation in the past few minutes that the police have uh, arrested this man, Daniel Khalif, after a four-day manhunt.
Absolutely. And to be honest, I think the champagne corks are metaphorically popping at Scotland Yard because despite the fact that this guy has been on the run for, you know, since, since, you know, since the middle of the week after this absolutely extraordinarily daring and you know, quite sophisticated breakout from prison, a very rare thing to happen, they have managed to track him down very, very rapidly once it became clear that there were sightings and they were able to use all of their assets, technology, and, you know, people on the ground to basically tighten the net over, over a series of hours, culminating in, into a very rapid movement of events this morning in Chiswick in southwest London. I mean, just to bring you up to speed, I've been speaking to a contact at Scotland Yard. Um, you know, the details are becoming, you know, aren't quite clear at the moment so exactly what happened on the ground, but there were sightings of uh, Daniel Khalif in the Chiswick area, and effectively they were able to flood the area, obviously, with officers and trying to actually get as much information as possible. And, of course, once you've got a sighting, you've then got an opportunity to pick out CCTV and live footage coming out of the traffic cameras across, across the capital. And I suspect a combination of these factors rapidly, rapidly um, uh, effectively focused their resources on a tighter and tighter area. Uh, we, we were aware of, uh, of activity, police activity, in the area of Chiswick House and Gardens, which is a national trust site. We don't know for sure whether that's where the arrest took place, but we now know he's in custody. Um, I'm told, in relation to custody, he's currently with the police, so he hasn't been taken back to Wandsworth Prison or, uh, to be frank, a more secure establishment, a uh, Category A establishment, such as uh, Belmarsh in south-east London. Um, what's going to happen next isn't quite clear. I suspect... He will be taken into interview to try and clarify the circumstances of his arrest because a key element of the counter-terrorism officers in this case now are not just that they've got the man they were looking for, but whether or not he actually had any help from anybody else because obviously there is, there is a wider question there about whether or not there's somebody out there who assisted uh, in this breakout uh, that they need to now track down and bring, to, bring, bring, bring into custody as well. Uh, yeah, Dominic, this is a huge story because, as you say, prison breakouts are extremely rare in this country, and especially for somebody who's, you know, on such serious charges. Just remind us who 21-year-old Daniel Khalif is, why he was in prison, uh, and why this uh, escape was so significant. Yeah, well, that, Daniel, Daniel Khalif was effectively a remand prisoner at HMP Wandsworth. That means he'd been accused of, 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 of crimes and he was awaiting trial. That was due to take place in November. He'd already uh, told the court that he was going to plead not guilty to the three charges he faced. Now, the first two of those charges are uh, Terrorism Act charges. Well, effectively, one of them relates to effectively acquiring information about members of the armed services, which could be useful in preparing an act of terrorism. Um, I know that sounds very, very serious, but in the whole scheme of terrorism legislation, this is a relatively minor offence to acquire information where it's not quite clear what the necessary alleged purpose of that would be. He pleaded not guilty to that, saying he hadn't uh, committed any such offence. There was a second allegation that he had basically placed a hoax bomb in uh, parts of the barracks where he was based uh, MOD Stafford. Again, he pleaded not guilty to that, denied that charge. After those charges were laid against him, this was in January of this year, he was subsequently charged under the Official Secrets Act of gathering information which could be useful to an enemy. And that's a much, much more serious charge under the Official Secrets Act. can lead up to, I think, it's 14 years in prison. That was formally made against him in July. He's pleaded not guilty to that. Now, very little information about that is in the public domain not least because these are what are called live proceedings. It's a live criminal case, and obviously um, Daniel Khalif is entitled to a fair trial and an opportunity to put his case before a jury. Um, but we do understand that that allegation relates to Iran, although we're not quite sure about the circumstances. If this, you know, if this ultimately comes to trial, now he's back in custody, I'm sure the circumstances will be made clear during that prosecution when it takes place. But, of course, now he's in custody, there is the obvious question about whether or not he will be charged in relation to, to the breakout as well. Um, you know, that's, that's something that officers are now going to have to consider over the coming days, along with the Crown Prosecution Service. Um, I know it may sound an obvious thing to state, but they've still got to go through the process of assessing the evidence, drawing up the papers before any such charge like that can be formally made against him. But 
you know, really significant victory this for counterterrorism at Scotland Yard. Um, you know, they've, they've got their man. They said they'd get their man. It's obviously taken days, but this stuff is complicated. 150 officers and staff involved, other assets around the country to use the jargon. And, you know, they were increasingly confident once they got the sighting, initially at Wandsworth Bridge in South London, where he effectively popped out from underneath this food lorry, that they would get him because that effectively gave them a crumb trail to follow. And that crumb trail is always so important in these situations. Once you've got that sighting, you can then start looking at, well, where did he go next? Let's look at the CTV image. Let's do the door-to-door knocking. If the man is using some kind of payment card, let's look at financial transactions in the area. Those kind of things. And you build up that picture very, very rapidly. And, uh, you know, the one thing you can say about these kind of operations is they, you know, they've got a lot of experience at Scotland Yard in trying to track down people very, very rapidly. And even if it takes days, you know, they, they, generally speaking, they, they tend to get there in the end.